Jaybot here. I'm finally back for a toy review. And today I'm doing Mask Crusaders vehicle Rhino. Um, this vehicle was seen in season one of Mask, um, and is also in the actual Mask logo. And I've knocked off the fucking camera. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, one of the most used vehicles because it becomes a mobile command centre. Um, it is a uh, piloted is the wrong word, isn't it? Driven by uh, most predominantly. If I take him out of here, Bruce Sato, who has lift the mask lifter uh, a very nice little toy um, with these toys there's quite a nice little bit of detail um, pretty much cartoon accurate I don't think he's going to stand up too well bastard ah there we go um, but also, most of the time, although it doesn't actually come with Rhino, and I have got him inside. I should have taken him out before, really, but oh well. Alex Sector, who has the Jack Rabbit mask, which makes him jump. Again, very nice detail. Um, pretty much so accurate. Yeah, very nice. Um, apart from the faces, if I show you Alex's face, which it's quite nice, but they never paint the eyes, which look really, really weird. I don't know how well he'll stand because he's a bit loose. Ah, oh, that's all right. What it does come with is the other driver that now and again drives Rhino depending on the mission and that is the mask, Mask's leader, Matt Tracker and in this version he has the Mask Ultra Flash which is basically fires, it's a flashbang mask it blinds people very nicely detailed, now you will see one thing, he has a smaller mask um, with these toys, they, um, in the first run of these toys, they made the masks more show accurate by making them smaller. But for whatever reason that basically no one's really sure of, um, quite possibly because they're afraid of a choking hazard, they changed the masks and made these sort of chest bits. How well you can see that for some strange reason in the I think it's basically the second run. So there is another version of Alex of uh, Matt Tracker of that Matt Tracker with shoulder bits, but on the whole, very nice. And my camera's being fucking pain. It's moved again. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's not too bad. Um, Matt Tracker didn't actually uh, pilot, well, drive uh, Rhino that often if. Um, he had he had Munda, uh, Thunderhawk with him, which is also his day-to-day -day vehicle. Would you believe? Um, ah, sorry, for some reason my camera seems to be a bit skewed, but the picture isn't. Just rather worrying. Two seconds. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck it. Anyway.
anyway, if we take the figures out of the way, and ow, onto the vehicle. Pretty much the same as in the cartoon. Um, deep uh, red plummy colour. You've got stripes. You've got all the chrome. I am missing one bit off the back that goes here, which is like the... Uh, if it had a trailer, the... Uh, the locking, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? The tow bar clamp, which acts as a, a chair for this little mini vehicle, which I will get onto. Uh, it didn't come with that, unfortunately. One of those things. The main difference between the toy and the cartoon. Can you spot it? The front window, whereas there's a metal bit that goes down the middle in the cartoon to separate the windows they left it out of the vehicle, the toy I don't know why because it does make it look pretty weird and my fucking camera's fucking moved again this is pissing me off I was trying not to swear in this that's bad Um, it's a very nice rig as you can see, similar to, well, yeah, very similar to Movie Prime. Lovely chrome on the, the front and the sides. Um, transformation. Uh, it does have a few gimmicks. Um, one I don't think will work quite good as well because... If I show you, there's a little gimmick that if it, you end up getting an intruder in the cab, um, it's supposed to shoot them out, I believe. But it doesn't work. This, this door is sticking and I do not know why. Um, other little gimmicks. If I take it to its... Uh, battle mode by simply pressing two buttons at the back one that one does the door the other one does the bumper then all you simply do is pull the smokestacks out so that they clear the door windows you might have to pull them out a little bit more and they go as so they can go down a bit further if you want um, pull out that the back bit and if it's stationary you can push down that bit as you can see there's a dirty great big missile launcher in there very nice um, I'll move it back a bit it might get all in camera yeah, just about. It doesn't fall off this box. That's better. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. There is actually a little computer station in there. I think you can just about see. There's a little computer bit there, a screen and stuff. You're probably all asking me, does that missile launcher work? <laughs> it works with a vengeance. Ow. Yeah. It fires like you would not believe. That is pretty cool. Um, you also have this I believe it's supposed to be like a, it turns into a satellite type thing. I've now dropped the missile. Uh, that's basically it. The other little gimmick it's got uh, is that this bit can come out. And you have a little buggy. <laughs> can 
move all over the place and your mask team can fit in it like so as I said the little bit that makes the back of the seat is missing which is annoying especially as parts for mask toys are few and far between so that's a nice little addition and uh, the rest of Rhino will still work without it Oops. Oh no, I just dropped it. No. What the? No. So, all in all, ah, let's not destroy the thing already. All in all, a very nice toy. Not to see if that's in shot. Near enough. If we do that, I know I don't I'll get him to stand up again. So we'll sit in half. Uh getting hold of this thing, um with mine I kind of had the luck of Gerard basically. Um I picked up Rhino off of eBay um with the match track Matt Tracker figure um, for uh, with postage 18 quid. Uh, I already had the Ruth Sato figure from Dino, which cost about £2.50, I think, something like that. So, and Alex Sector was £2 as well that I got off eBay. So, I probably paid in total £24, which is a good price. This thing complete can go up to fifty quid or beyond fifty quid. Especially if it's boxed. Uh, so mask stuff is pretty hard to to gauge prices. You're either gonna get lucky or it's gonna be expensive there. It's not easy to value them. But it is one of the more sought after ones. Seconded only to probably some of the split seconds line. But still, very nice if you can get hold of it. I would personally recommend getting hold of it if you can. Uh, anything else I need to say? Um, whether it is like where I've got the Matt, track fi Matt Tracker figure there, it's the first one with a smaller helmet. Um, there's, it doesn't make a difference price wise it really doesn't for whatever reason um, they're not sort of really rare as uh, they're not, yeah they're not really that rare for whatever reason so they tend to be about the same price as the other ones but I don't know why they did it because they went back to the smaller masks with uh, some of the uh, racing series like I'm just looking now um, Vanessa Warfield and uh, who's the other one? Lester Sledge they've got small masks and actually some of the first series figures like torch they didn't they they made the mask bigger i think they didn't really add anything to it which is good it doesn't spoil the style quite as much but yeah very nice toy if you can get hold of it i would get hold of it um at the moment mask stuff seems to be far for cheap on ebay i seem to be picking up rather a lot of it yes um <laughs> since my rollout roll call video i picked up rhino uh, I picked up a couple of split second vehicles and a shitload of figures cheap off of eBay and through King Grimmy who I need to thank very much I know he cuts my head but yeah thank you very much you were awesome so yeah and I've also got in the post uh, what have we got coming Thunderhawk Firecracker Gator, which I 
and not complete. I've got a dusty hay. Oh no, not dusty. Ah. Oh. Oh. Who's the other figure? Damn it. Why am I thinking of it? Yeah. Alex Sector doesn't, as I said, doesn't come with Rhino. He, he actually comes either in one of the separate two pack advent two pack of either adventure packs or with Boulder Hill along with who I'm trying to think of whose name has slipped my mind Clutch Hawks <laughs> and you'll get there I've got him in the post as well with his penetrator mask and hopefully on the way back to me, I'll have another Honda McLean with Blaster 1 and the Honda McLean from uh, Hurricane as well. I had to send one of, I had to send my original uh, Honda McLean and his mask back because his leg was broken and it obviously been restuck. Really but hopefully I'll either get a refund or I'll be able to find another one, I hope, or they'll replace it. And as I've seen that they've got a few more up for auction, hopefully it will get replaced. So yeah, I've got quite a bit coming. And yes, I should be. I, it seems to be in a phase of collecting it. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this video. I hope I've not run over, but if I have, I have. Anyway, this has been a Mask Rhino Vehicle uh, Review. I have been JBot. Till next time. Half half an hour. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to say. Oh well. <laughs>